All right, we've got Godmon on the blue team here, playing as the god of production, going against AJ Twix on the red team, playing god of teleportation. Oh, this is so interesting, Jack. So yesterday I tested this out with a bunch of players, and I saw somebody going for a heavy lasers first, but that is the definitely the minority there. Most people go for that five spot planet. So this is going to be interesting because Godmon's doing a completely different route. Yeah, it's interesting. Normally, uh, we see players go for point defense first, um, which looks like AJ Twix has done this um, and is now and now busy expanding. Um, and players opt to get that point defense to improve the defensive capabilities of their fleet as soon as possible. Um, and AJ Twix is going to try to use some point defense here to make taking this torpedo planet a little easier. But uh, Godmon really went that offensive route and said, I'm not going to get the point defense. I'm just going straight for heavy laser, which is... Um, a ship that's uh, very useful when you are um, really getting up in your enemy's face and using a lot of like wormhole chains to do that. And I think I, we should expect that Godmon is going to play pretty aggressively here um, and try to use these heavy lasers um, to really kill off AJ's forces. And ignoring the five spot planet altogether in their interest. So, oh, got a first battle over snipers. I'll let it go. Looks like AJ didn't have enough in hand to be able to really contest that. Though now that Godmon has left that sniper planet pretty vulnerable, as I say that, God, Godmon coming back to defend that. We'll see if the sniper planet serves a critical role here. Oftentimes, um, you know, if, if a team gets a lot of snipers, uh, it's uh, really bad for the other team. Godmon holding onto that sniper planet, threatening with those heavy lasers. AJ Twix not wanting to fight that and just pulls back here. And it is also worth knowing, since this is the Galactic War Tournament, uh, which faction each of these players is representing. I see AJ Twix I'm, has that Vela Warrior title, so I'm assuming that... Uh, AJ is representing the Vela. Not sure about Godmon here. He's just trying to get a close-up yeah, look I'm at these ships here. They are also Vela. All right, yeah, we got an inner faction match here. Um, I'm curious to see who who is representing Crux in this tournament. Um, and yeah, but it, it's awesome to see some a Vela representation. Yeah, it's going to... Uh... It'll be really uh, nice to see if uh, Vela can win this tournament and kind of really contribute to the scoreboard because currently they're behind in the war and Crux has just been uh, doing a really good job of maintaining their numbers. But these tournaments are a great chance to, you know, change the tides. Yeah, and, and back on this match, it looks like AJ Twix has managed to build a slight ship lead, though it is still very even here. AJ pushing in for the center. Godmon coming in, contesting. But not wanting to fight the head-on with that those 70 ships there. Godmon wrapping around the whole outer ring here, gathering all their forces together. The sniper planet seems to be a common place, it's just in the center that the players are fighting over. Might expect a big battle here soon. Though players, they've not really fought head-on yet, not wanting to take the full risk. And just been fighting over planets, with AJ Twix building a slow lead. Oh, Ooh, Fleet Recall nice. used, Godmon managed to escape. The first asteroids have appeared. Oh, asteroids The first are asteroids have appeared. <laughs> oh, that's convenient for AJ right there, too. Yeah, I'm theirs. guessing it'll be one one asteroid per, just based on how even they are. Uh, if if one person gets two asteroids, though, that would be a big swing here. But uh, you know, with with such tied numbers, it would be hard. It would be hard to uh, take control of both asteroids. Though it looks like that's what Godmon is going to do. He's trying to play risky. I know uh, Godmon has the other asteroid in the other corner, but um, AJ's really just like ensuring that they get this one. Not even worrying about that second asteroid. Just not going to let Godmon snatch theirs here. Yeah, that's a smart play here, especially cutting, with them being so even. off power, though. See, Godmon's oh. trying to cut off the power here. AJ doesn't see it. 
Well, that's tricky. The god mod really trying to balance this. <laughs> Needs to kind of interrupt the asteroid mining, but also cut off the power here. I'm not sure if it's going to work, though. And it looks like it's not. Godmon retreating here. Though, Godmon now up in ship count. Oh, though AJ really just smart. gets that asteroid and is on the run here. And it looks like that asteroid bonus is being delivered. And uh, now these players are relatively even. With Godmon taking a slight advantage here. Godmon pushing really hard here. AJ might be on the back foot of the, some of these engagements. Godmon slightly building this troop advantage. Definitely into AJ's territory though, but AJ has the ships to counter here. Yep, I think Godmon is going back, uh, regaining some ships here. AJ has the ability up. I think they're waiting to use that fleet recall to gain uh, an advantage in, in a big fight that's bound to come soon here. Second pair of asteroids are also out. I don't think the players realize yet. Fleet recall used. I think uh, it, it did something, but um, not an ex explosive play they were looking for. <laughs> AJ lost <laughs> some ships there. You might have to go collect some of these guys. Doing a good job using wormholes to snatch those out of out of space there. Oh, risky to have all those ships left alone. Godmon's got both these right, asteroids. Yeah, God, this could be yeah, yeah, I was just about to say. Oh, there's one. A AJ needs to get this last asteroid, though. It's going to be tough now that uh, Godmon has that other asteroid bonus on all these powerful battleships. Now AJ's on the back oh, foot. No. Losing ships here. Godmon's about to get the second asteroid. Oh, this could good. seal the deal. <laughs> AJ really on the back foot here. Needs to survive. Needs to kind of expand. Take these uh, weak planets here. And Godmon is now controlling his plan his system and the oh, center Godmon system. Godmon going for the sun here. Smart play. Oh, Godmon has good. a significant enough advantage that AJ can't contest. And what's that buff? Buff connects. It's going to be a uh, massive swing for blue here. I'm not sure there's much AJ can do besides just try to do as much as as much as AJ can oh. in this brief time where Godmon's really tied up getting the sun. AJ retreating, <laughs> trying to make a last stand maybe. Trying to come and disrupt the sun, but I don't think it's going to be enough at all. Nope, nope, they're going for the snipers. Yep, that's it. Ooh, that's going to be a tough one. And this this troop advantage from Godmon just going to be able to go straight for the red home base here. Just really wanting to seal the deal though, and then taking over all these. Here comes all those buffed ships coming straight for red. Nothing AJ can really do with such limited troops here. Red team has lost control of their own base. <laughs> yep. Great performance from both players. An exciting match to watch with a lot of back and forth. Godmon able to crawl back from a slight disadvantage in the early game to really swing a, a big advantage, getting those asteroids, uh, which allowed, allowed him to get the sun and then seal the deal against AJ. <laughs> AJ trying to stall, but it will be no use as Godmon ships take over the red home base and blow it to obliterate. Wow, <laughs> to what oblivion. a terrific match, though. That was great. All right, we've got Ace Clouds on the blue team playing as God of Production going against Sandia on the red team playing as God of Volatility. It's the first God of Volatility I've seen in tournament in a long time, and it looks like Sandia is representing the Crux Republic faction here. The last last game, we just had two Vela players, uh, but now we've got some Crux representation. Just remember, the winner of the whole tournament, whatever faction they are, will get a massive reward, which will swing the sides of this galactic war. Um, and it looks like <laughs> uh, we have also another faction mirror match here as Ace is playing as uh, on the Crux Republic here. Also rocking that awesome astronaut helmet, which I really like. I and mean, it looks like Ace opting for uh, 
you know, to quickly try to take over the defensive options of their solar system. And now they're going to push out. You know, it's interesting, Steve. What do you think about, like, how quickly do you push out of your own solar system versus, um, you know, uh, take all those uh, powerful production planets in your own system? Yeah, so this was where I thought it was interesting, too, is because I took the five-spot planet and then pushed out for the first planet in the in the center system, and then I went back and would do the whole, like, my own system production planets, because by that time, when you're done capturing your system, when you go back to the center system, th that planet has built up a nice bit of ships. So I had done it a little different than, than what we've seen so far with the top players here, but, of course, when I was practicing yesterday and doing 1v1s, they beat me, so... Maybe they know something I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think key is like anytime there's a planet with a rig, it's really valuable. And usually that means you should just uh, be focusing on those as soon as you can. So I'm wondering if the optimal strategy is um, just taking over all those four planets in your home system as soon as you can. Um, but I know they are, they can be pretty heavily defended. Yeah, I was pretty surprised by... Oh, first clash with the sniper planet in the middle here. Both players even, but, uh, Just you know, I think Sandia left. slightly ahead. Yeah, Sandia has the ability charged and can convert seven ships into nukes if they want to. We'll see if they opt to use that quickly here uh, to try to take out some of Blue's ships here. Both players not really wanting to fight, scared to lose a lot of ships in the early game, um, which is definitely valid. If you lose all your ships early, it's really hard to come back. Ace suffering a little bit in those fights and now is on the, the back foot here. We'll see if Sandia can push this advantage. We're going to take over that sniper planet here. Who just had oh, power doesn't range. have power. Oh, Ace has to be really careful here as you never want to be fighting it from the back foot here. God of production ability almost ready for blue team though, so they can come back a little bit in that way. Oh, oh Sandia has a lot bunch of ships. Oh, Not and sure Ace is taking there. advantage. Oh. Oh. Yeah, bad for Sandia. I'm not sure if they lost some in the wormhole chain. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Not what you want to see though, is red. And now it is back to even here. Converting some ships into nukes. We'll see where these nukes go. I think Sanya really thinking. I think the best use of nukes is just directly on the enemy fleet. Um, but we'll we'll see. I'm not sure if if. Oh, well, they're trying to do nukes. a sneaky counter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nukes released against blue. Not sure how effective that strike was. It looks like you know still even here. The sniper planet keeps flipping back and forth. I'm not even sure if a single sniper has gotten produced there yet, <laughs> just be based on how much it's been switching uh, control here. Fighting over it again. <laughs> the first asteroids have appeared. Yes, they have. And we'll see if... I'm guessing because it's so even that it's going to be a one and one type situation. Uh, if it's not, that could be really disastrous for whoever is on the, the zero asteroid side here. Ace taking a slight lead in ships, it looks like. But uh, Sandia is more than capable of evening this up. And as I say that, you know, it's practically dead even here. Is yet to grab Sandia it. pushing for that asteroid pretty far away from their territory. We'll see. I, I don't think Ace is going to allow that to happen here. Looks like they finally yeah, just Ace... saw it. There we go. Yeah, I don't think there's any chance that, you know, Sandia's going to be able to cut power there for that asteroid. Uh, the other one got mined. Looks like, yep, for Sandia here. We'll see if they can swing those battleships and try to leverage that to, to take the other asteroid. Sometimes that's possible given just the rate at which they are, you know, if, if one starts being mined slower than the other, then sometimes that winning player who with can come in with those battleships and really, uh, you know, go for the other one. It looks like Ace fighting with no power over there. <laughs> Losing some ships, too. Not what you want to see. Sandia may... Especially considering that asteroid hasn't been mined yet. Oh, okay. Nope. Okay. Uh, Seals gonna... it. Yeah. Sandia I mean... has a slight lead here. 
Gonna try to build it. Oh. Going for the Test, sun? Testing or maybe that was a mistake. Hmm. No, Ace is losing ships. Ace able to collect them without any Not sure if there's a, maybe they're encountering a bit of lag or, I mean, you know, sometimes uh, even the best players, you know, lose uh, lose ships and wormhole chains. Another fight for the sniper planet. <laughs> Could be bad for Ace here, especially against God of Volatility, which has that passive ability, um, which, uh, you know, where sometimes it, enemies they kill can explode. So you really don't want to fight it in large fleet battles. Um, which can be hard to do at times. Ace uh, losing some ships there. Sanya coming in here trying to get that asteroid. I think Sanya is in a position where they could get both those asteroids. And Ace has that God of Production ability up. Not sure if they realize it or not. Also has no power yet again. Really struggling, struggling from a power perspective here. As Sanya uh, takes a dominant lead here. If Sanya is able to get both asteroids here. It will be GG for blue. And it looks like San Sandia making the aggressive play to rush the blue home right now. Lost control of their home base. Using that those nukes. Bringing in the nukes against the rest of the blue fleet. I'm not sure what Ace can do here. Try to come back. Maybe they can cut power, but it looks like Sandia has split their forces. Not sure what all those point defense are going to be able to do here. As Ace comes back, just trying to maybe pick off some of these ships here but it looks like it's going to be no use they have three seconds before their home base is destroyed and that's going to be gg sandia will defeat ace in the top eight great match though uh you know great playing for both players all righty we've got strong connor playing as god of Pro production on the blue team representing the crux republic and we've got Dragon versus Cats on the red team playing as God of Volatility. Let's quickly pop over there and see what faction they are representing. Looks like the Crux as well. Okay, we've got four Crux and two Vela so far in the top eight. Uh, we'll see if we'll see if Vela is able to. Uh, I think we we have a big player for Vela that um, really has a a good shot at winning this tournament. That will be in one of the uh, future matches. All right, it looks like Strong Connor opting for that point defense first, uh, getting the defensive option. Dragon v. Cats is a little bit faster than them in the initial expansion, getting the point defense, the heavy laser, and now uh, is getting all of those planets. This is what I was talking about. I think the optimal strategy is taking over these rig planets as fast as you can. And I expect that this will lead Dragon to build an early advantage here. Look at already just the ship counts. You know, Dragon's a, a player, winner of many tournaments. Uh, and actually won the last tournament, as you can see by their badge there. Um, and a really great player, uh, obviously, but uh, is very experienced in expanding quickly and without losing a lot of ships, which I, th I think is always important, and uh, maybe especially so as they're going for the sniper here, uh, and there's not much Strong Connor can do about it here. Dragon really making their presence felt in the center. This is going to be a tough one. Yeah. I would not want to be facing Dragon here. It is, uh, Dragon is arguably the scariest opponent in the game. Um, and good luck, Sean Connor. <laughs> Starting but, to mess um, with the moons already, too, the moon gobbler. Yeah, Dragon Vcats is known for expanding quickly and then quickly ap applying a lot of pressure, building an advantage, and then really never losing it. And it looks like. Strong Connor trying to, you know, poke away at some of these defenses while uh, Dragon isn't looking, which is probably a good thing to do. If you can take these planets without suffering any losses, which is, is very doable given that they're just um, sort of undefended um, planets with a few turrets. Dragon b going back, getting some more ships. Uh, converting it to some ships into nukes here. We'll see if they integrate these, their fleet, or just go and try to bomb things. <laughs> I don't think that was the most effective use. I think nukes are most effective when you actually combine them into your fleet and then go on to do a big battle. 
Um, yeah, I agree with that. Because one. then your nukes actually get a chance to fire. Nukes that are un that um, just get shot, when they explode, they do not kill as many ships. But if they do launch, then they will uh, maximize their potential. So that's really what you want to look for as a volatility player, or, or if you just have nukes in your fleet. You want to make sure that they get that you have support ships in there so that they actually get a chance to to fire off before they're just shot. And that's why I was never really a fan of just going in with a handful of nukes raw and just like hoping in that it works because <laughs> they will get shot. Dragon pushing blue back to their home system here. I kind of expect uh, Dragon to go for the sun here, though in maybe waiting for these first asteroids. I think they come out in 20 seconds or so. Or maybe a, maybe a minute. Not exactly sure which. Big fight here. You know, surprisingly, I didn't see Strong Connor lose that many ships there. Um, so, you know, it looks like they were doing a good job holding back the red team there. Asteroids drops. Yeah, Strong Connor's doing a really great job, actually. Like, the troop deficit is not as bad as I thought it would be at this point with that start that Dragon did. So hats off to Strong Connor. Yeah, uh, but it looks like <laughs> Dragon has uh, taken the sun, basically. Left it with two turrets here. Maybe it just wanted to make sure that they uh, didn't neglect these asteroids here. Um, because Dragon definitely has the capacity to get both here. And doing so would basically uh, give them a a lead that was would be too hard to come back from. John Connor going in trying to fight that um, sort of an un uh, force that Dragon left behind, but it looks like Dragon's going to come back and uh, not allow that. Strong Connor could sneak in and steal the sun. Nope. That was true, actually. I, I think that could have worked um, because it was only two ships on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that would have been crazy. I, You know, there's so much going on. They probably didn't see that. Um, but, you know, Dragon coming in here with all these ships, all these buffed ships um, already has a, a huge lead. So um, they will be able to close out this game quickly. The Dragon has a weird habit of taking like 10 times as too long to just like go for the home <laughs> uh, but it looks like they're gonna they're gonna do it qu rather quickly here good showing by strong connor for coming out and battling you know one of the best players in the game the oh, yeah, 100%. dominant player so nothing to be ashamed of there that was a great match by both players yeah and glory to crux <laughs> yeah now, and again, congratulations, Strong Connor, for making it to the top eight. There's really fierce competition, uh, and especially Dragon Cats is, is <laughs> arguably the toughest competition in the whole game. So we'll be right back with our, um, you know, final uh, top eight match before we get into the semifinals. And if you haven't seen it, that's what the Crux Republic and Vela Dynasty leaderboard looks like. Jack, you want to talk about that a minute just as we get ready? Sure, let me just Nathan, let Nathan know that we need um, a new match here. Alrighty. Yeah, Steve, why don't you just expand up that Galactic War page? That way we can recognize the top contributors. Um, and I know uh, DJ Stan K Stank Tank uh, <laughs> is in Discord with a different name, and I think is actually participating in the tournament. Uh, but definitely some crazy grinders here. It's awesome. To All right, we've got Eggster on the blue team representing the Vela Dynasty, going against Mega Platypus on the red team playing as God of Volatility. It's a looks like a mirror match here, uh, so no God will really have an, any sort of advantage, or there it'll basically just be a. A bunch of nukes fighting each other, and Extra we'll see how it, how it plays out here. Extra a little upset at that uh, micromanaging. Something happened there when he was grabbing that PD planet. Yeah, maybe Extra's just a noob. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Extra's a great player, obviously. I yeah. just... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looks like uh, both players opting to quickly uh, try to uh, take their home solar system thingy over here. 
um, which seems smart um, based on just how powerful mining rigs are on these planets and how quickly those will start producing ships. It looks like eggs are slightly behind on ships, maybe lost a little more uh, than they wished, micromanaging, and is slightly behind because they do not have that uh, torpedo planet in the back yet. It looks like they're doing a pretty good job microing here. Megaplatypus off to a slight lead, though it's it's still very, very close here. Megaplatypus pushing out into the center solar system here. Oh, and they are representing Vela here, which is awesome to see. <laughs> uh, we've got um, four Vela and four Crux in this top eight. Seems very fitting. It's, it's, any, it's any faction's game at this mm. point who will win the tournament, which is exciting to see. Vela really needs this win, so this is going to come down to the wire here. No, oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, and it looks like Eggster here uh, just expanding, taking these production planets. No one going for that sniper planet yet. I think because they're both uh, even that it's too much of a risk to start clashing over that. Oh, maybe, maybe Platypus is going to go for it. Both god abilities up at the same time here. We'll see if these nukes start coming into play here. As the Armageddon ability can convert up to seven ships into nuke ships here. Mega Platypus going in on the aggressive take there. Interesting for the early it, game. Oh, but on the run now as Extra comes in and snatches up the sniper planet. Nukes used. Coming back in, firing off the nukes. Extra on the run from those nukes. <laughs> nukes chasing. The nukes are angry. They're chasing. Dodging. <laughs> Extra on the... <laughs> <laughs> Extra running from those nukes. <laughs> they They're have a limited lifetime. We'll see if they can catch up. Oh. They... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Extra now built a, a real lead there. They lo just lost some ships there. Uh, Mega Platypus has control of the Cyber Planet currently. Won't last for long, though. Uh, this cheeky little mid-air or mid-wormhole sniping by Exter, if you saw that. Yeah, Exter is really known for just being, like, right on your butt while you're wormholing and uh, just killing you uh, slowly. Um, definitely uh, can be frustrating to play against mm -hmm. uh, players of, of his caliber. Oh, left a little early, left that planet with one. Yep, <laughs> I wouldn't have really tried to defend that yeah. that one planet. And I think the first asteroids are about to come out here, and Extra's going to have uh, a really big lead here, and able will be able to um, capture them. The first asteroids have appeared. Yeah, those first asteroids showing up. Extra really chasing Mega Platypus down here. Not letting Mega Platypus get a foothold in this center solar system here. I'm Exter, yeah, I'm grabbing that asteroid and then putting the pressure on. See if I can push Mega Platypus back and take their asteroid. Yeah. Yeah, I think Mega Platypus needs to just kind of distract Exter maybe and try to not lose that asteroid. But at this point, Extra could also take the sun, the one here. I, uh, yeah, not much. It's you know not much you can do after like Extra had just has this much advantage in the mid game. Mega Platypus onto their last few ships here, as they try to push in, take take these planets here. Nukes used, maybe uh, they'll be used to sort of. Oh, uh, extra burned all those nukes on those asteroid turrets, uh, but uh, it won't really matter here as now extra is pushing into this red home solar system. Which valiant effort Mega by Platypus. Mega Platypus 100%. And it's great to see them come this far in the tournament. Um, you know, uh, you know, it's it's been crazy though with uh, with extra extra dragon cats have been uh, 
and, you know, and a few other uh, top players that have been real, really around for a while and dominate the top of the tournament scene. Um, I'm hope I'm hopeful that uh, we'll see some some uh, <laughs> upsets in in the coming months. Now that sun buff will should be landing shortly. Well, at least Mega Platypus can take solace in the fact that it's a Vela win here. And Vela gets one yeah. more step closer to winning the tournament. Yes, and Mega Platypus being in the top eight will uh, score score personal contribution points for Vela here. Extra going in for for the kill here with all these this massive army of buffed ships here and mega plot of us going to go forfeit here uh silly deal congratulations extra extra will be moving on to the semi-finals all right we've got a volatility mirror match godmon on the blue team Dragon V Cats on the red team. Let's see how quickly these players can expand. Godmon going for uh, this heavy laser. I think it'll be really imperative how... Oh, lost. Godmon lost the shield there. Might need to wait for another shield. Oh, no, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, that's really unfortunate. Go take the five spot while you're waiting. Uh, yeah, oh, Godmon. No. This is... Oh, this is rough to see. I mean, you, you always get one shield off the start, and then uh, it's up to... To kind of RNG, you know, but luckily, well, both players, both teams have the same set order of producing the ships. So, you know, but it looks like Dragon V Cats has kept their shield alive. Um, so they're at the advantage here. They're not behind. Now, okay, Go Godmon has another another shield. They can catch up. Okay, There's taking that. Yeah, see, they're they're okay. They're doing all right. They're fine now. Just need to recover and keep their head. Don't lose the don't lose confidence. Don't get angry. Yep, yep. Dragon Cats off to a slow off to start maybe a this slower time. start. Yeah, definitely. for them. Still, still okay. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, also, it's worth saying. So, is Godmon Crux or or Vel? I forget. Just because. So, so you got on factions. I mean, no, no, no. Know, Sorry, Godmon who you're rooting is for. Vela. Dragon vs. Cats is Crux. No. Okay, so if you're, if you're a Velamin, you better be rooting for Godmon here. Wait, but and I don't see them. Crux players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah, yeah. Okay, Dragon, oh, okay, Godmon has, it's dead even here. This this first fight could mean a lot. Okay, Godmon's slightly up. Dragon has more territory here. Oh no, the Sniper Planet's just going to be taken for free here. Actually, I saw Dragon lose a lot of ships there. Yeah. Taking that base. Which is not what you want to see as Dragon here. Ooh, big Both early change. Shifty. Yeah. Okay, Godmon ahead. Godmon is ahead here. Oh, this is going to be a good match. Let's look at the speed of movement and the control of wormholes and ship placements. Fantastic. Yeah, Godmon going back. I think he needs to take that five planet that has a mining rig on it. Could really speed up production. But it's so distracting in this middle. It. Yeah, I just don't know why people are leaving that planet. It's it so a, easy. It has a rig. It's it's important. Yep. Dragons Godmon, made sure to capture Godmon, it. Godmon's doing really well in these fights. Dragon keeps trying to take this sniper planet. They're relentless. <laughs> <laughs> Not letting Godmon breathe here. By not having that five spot. I'm not going back. Well. Needs to take the five planet, Godmon, please. No, he's still not. I can't still believe it. taken. Going for that planet over the five. The five planet has a minor ring. Come on. No, okay. Godmon is still ahead. Dragon regathering their ships. The Crux ships coming in for the sniper planet. Dragon V Cats is slightly like coming back a little bit. Godmon just needs to keep this lead.
need to go back and get that really... five spot. This yeah. is killing me. Denying, denying um, Dragon V catch this sniper planet, which is good, I think. I mean... Oh, oh no, both players are losing ships. Dragon chasing. Losing ships to the void. Where are oh, those no. ships going? That was their important ships. That's not good. The, yeah, okay, okay, they made oh, it to the moon. They're they just chilling there. Yeah, ooh, he got lucky. That was luck. Okay, now it's even though. <laughs> Godman needs that five. If he, if Godman had the five planet, it would, it would be. St <laughs> yeah, they would be up right now. I can't believe this. Why? Why leave oh, that five spot? No. Massive losses there. Dragon V Cats takes the lead for the first time this match. Not what you want to see. Okay. Right. Don't burn the nukes oh, against oh, those turrets. Oh. Okay. Nukes used from both sides. Godmon behind. Needs to take the five planet. Come on. Is it taken, Steve? Oh, gosh. I can't. Let's see. No. no. <laughs> Why? Just take it. It's maddening. Okay. Godmon needs to secure one asteroid. That's that's what matters right now. Yep. Godmon right. needs an asteroid. You got one. I'm pretty sure that one went to dragon. Oh. One and one. Looks like one and one. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Oh, this is a nail biter. And just for context, guys, I, I, I'm rooting for Vela here. I also, I always root for the underdog, you know? Uh, and so, yeah, I, this would be a crazy upset here. Oh, Godmon pulling into the lead here. Man, but it's so close. Oh, fighting here. Dragon out of power there. Oh, oh. that was big. Come on. Taking the lead here. Taking us a pretty significant lead over Dragon here. Oh, that was a that smart one, power one power. engagement was bad. Was bad for Dragon. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon needs to be really careful now with their power. Oh. Oh, Ooh. Dragon playing for a significant disadvantage here. Dragon lost power twice. It's not looking good. It's not looking good for Crux here. Oh. Dragon, this is like, they have to preserve these last ships. Godmon hasn't taken that asteroid. Oh, nukes used. Dragon slowly climbing back in. God, it has to be super, super careful, though. Yeah, Dragon... Oh, lost some ships to the void there. We'll try to wormhole. That's not what you want to see. That's like half his fleet. If I'm Godmon, I'm taking both these asteroids. He has yeah, the power yeah, to Godmon do it. Yeah, yeah, takes both the asteroids. It's basically GG here. One's in the back. That one's secure, but this one yeah, I would both going, They're both going to Godmon here. They're both oh going... Goodness. Dragon can't get the other one. No power. And then... I, go... this, I would fight over that. Can I would camp fight this over one. that. Yeah. Dragon doesn't have to can but... You can't fight it. You no. can't. That's it. That's where there goes one. Go Godmon. Oh, there goes two. <laughs> and that should be it. Wow. Dragon's got no more ships to really contest this. Godmon's got to be feeling nervous about this, knowing that this is a huge uh, I step. I think Godmon's high on life right now. We're gonna go <laughs> defeat Dragon V Cats here. I'm not going to call close. this a big upset because these players have both been playing for a million years and are re both really good players. But, you know, Dragon consistently wins he on President here. Um, yeah. so it's nice to see the mix up here, especially as a Vela player. You know, really, maybe it was all for the faction. They knew their faction was behind. They're like, <laughs> I need to win against Dragon here. I need Vela must win the tournament here. This is wild. This is this is a pretty big upset, though. Godmon is finally, you know, trying to take over and establish himself as the number one player, and this is the key to doing it. You've got to take on Dragon. You've got to take on Extra, and this is that's no easy feat. A hundred percent here, and Godmon will take it 
over Dragon V Cats in the semifinals and will be moving on to the finals. Dragon V Cats will get a chance to fight for third place in the bronze match here. Alrighty, well, we'll be right back with the next semifinals match. We'll take this tournament for the massive faction reward. Oh no. Because I'm pretty sure if yeah, because uh yeah, let's take yeah, a look. Yeah, because Sandia is on Crux here. Yep. Yeah, say, so if you are a Crux player, Sandia winning here is the only way that it is possible for Crux to win this tournament. Oh, oh Nathan's going to be so devastated. Let's for Sandia. We only have one chance left yeah. to win. Yeah, it's also worth saying God of Volatility mirror match here. It's nice seeing this God. This is also the, you know, the first tournament since the Godly update, which was a. Uh, you know, it came out a little little while ago, maybe a month ago, but it was uh, had a lot of shakeup in the balance of it, of the game. So, you know, it made a lot of changes to a lot of gods here. And I think volatility went from uh, trash tier to like, you know, pretty good and potentially one of the best, at least for this map. Yeah. Yeah, I've been having a blast since the godly update came out. All I've been playing all the gods and just having so much fun testing them out and seeing what's viable and picking and counter picking. And I'm hoping a lot of the top players are doing that. And we've seen like uh, when I got the feedback on this map, they immediately were picking gods that were best suited to the map. And they were much different than we typically expect, which is, you know, production. Uh, this was teleportation of volatility is what some of the top players said and I tried my hand at defense So it was really fun to see different gods mixing it up on different maps Yeah, it looks like extra here rolling out They've taken their four in their home system and now they're pushing out uh, slightly behind in ships right now But they have a territory lead here. So it looks like they spent some of their ships just to expand here Sandia here has slightly more troops, slightly less territory. They're ignoring the five planet. Well, apparently, according to Godmon, you don't need the five planet to actually win the game. So, um, you know, maybe that's just a strategy. Killing me. Why not take it, though? It's free production. It is free production. Extra here going into fight. Oh, wants to try to push. You know, Extra is really the kind of player. Wants to fight early, wants to is confident in their fighting abilities, so they're confident that they'll be able to build a lead early and then just maintain that throughout the whole game. But it looks like uh, Sanya not really giving them an opportunity to clash here. Both god abilities are ready. We'll see if they're used here. It's interesting, uh, you know, when do you use the volatility ability? And, you know, for me, it's always like when you're preparing to go into a big a big fleet battle you know you don't want to use it on turrets or anything like that you want to like just use it um right before you're about to go in on, on like a big a big fight both players are masters of wormhole chaining though so this is going to be very precision based here yeah sandia coming in here has a lead right now you know just based on like power ranking you know extra is expected to win this though sandia has a real chance here but it would be another upset if sandia wins yeah sandia is a great player uh one of the things we've seen is they have excellent ability excellent movement excellent game awareness their only problem right now from last tournament and last couple tournaments is closing out games so they're excellent in the early and middle stage but have a little bit of a struggle in the late game so i'd like to see sandia pick that up and actually improve on that and then definitely has the ability to be in the top yeah three. I, I know sanya sanya's wormholing is really really clean i think one of the best in the game um they just have a lot of precision and are really good at um maneuvering and uh and fighting like i don't know if i've ever, ever seen them like uh mess up a wormhole chain before and they're always just really clean clean and really quick with it which is not as easy as these two make it look. Yes, 100%. Sanya has a lead here. Use those nukes. Has nukes in their forces here. No power, though. Power. Oh! Extra going in with nukes, trying to take advantage of that. Sanya on the run here. Coming back, though. Oh, the oh, nukes coming the in. nukes are chasing. Yeah, Sanya oh, no. might oh, not realize it. it. Nope. Oh! Oh! Luckily, not too oh, much damage. The other one lands. 
extra that, that helped extra is like slightly evening evening it up right now and i think those nukes definitely made an impact each of them i think taking out four of sandia's ships here which is a pretty significant looks like asteroids about even Should yeah 50 50. yep yep there we go yep 50 50 asteroids pretty even uh you know extra slightly behind which has been the pattern all game but you know definitely both players are still in this oh and yeah we haven't seen the sniper planet taken yet yeah the sniper planet always seems like i haven't even seen that many snipers ever get produced but it's always <laughs> the threat of the snipers being produced yep you know Ooh. pretty even here oh <laughs> extra has no power over there but looks like uh they have power now on that side of the map Both players, you know, kind of just waiting for somebody to really win a fight and build a lead here. I mean, the next asteroids will come out uh, very soon if they're not out already. And I see them in the, I see them in the background. I think they need to go 50-50 again. Here it's it's too it's too even for one person to try to take both, unless there was a power situation. Look Damn, yeah, not seeing the other asteroid though. Extra currently is mining both. Okay, Sandia gonna hopefully be on top of that. Extra using those, getting those nukes involved. Gonna burn some of those nukes by turrets, not really what you wanna do. Sandia needs to hold that this asteroid. It'd be disastrous if Extra got this last, this other one. Though it, it wouldn't put Sandia out of the game. Oh, some smart counterplay in here. Extra grab. Yeah, extra asteroid. already mined that other asteroid, which means they're using those battleships and to try to take the second. Sanya lost a lot of ships just out in the void there. There's a lot of pressure to win this fight at this asteroid. Oh, I don't think extra can cut. Switching over to blue. Extra going back, getting all their ships. They might have enough to really just take this here. Oh, this is deadly. let's stay on this asteroid because this is really it's at the last like it just needs one tick. Yes, Sidney oh, gets it. Is steal. <gasps> oh, but they're gonna come back to getting spot kept there. Yep. Oh, extra losing ships in the middle. Yep. Yeah, he's going to be lucky and they're going to return back to home planet or a planet. Oh, another asteroid's out. If I'm extra, I'm cutting power and making Sanya have to dig for power to get that second asteroid. Yeah, that'd be pretty smart. But if Sa I'm Sanya, I'm cutting extra's power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, extra takes severe losses there. Oh, I didn't even see what happened. So quick. Yeah, just I think Sanya was just you know coming in nice. from behind on those wormholes there. Smart. I think extra can still get that other asteroid. If I'm Sanya though, I'm trying to focus on getting both. Yeah, so far. Oh, well, extra gets the got asteroid it. though. Sanya, Sanya gets, the, gets other. the other. Oh, extra no power needs to run here. <laughs> Cannot fight that. Oh, nukes firing. Not sure who's. <laughs> extra chasing Sanya as they run around through these wormholes. I think Sanya lost their, their ships. Okay. 
Extra wasn't able to capitalize. All right, Sandy's got to push in. I believe they're they're at ship cap. They've got to make a little bit of a push here. Yep. Oh, <laughs> Sadia nuke chasing. <laughs> Next asteroid should be out. I, oh, Sadia has a sniper. They're holding down that moon. <laughs> Extra slowly clawing oh. his way back in. This is not good. Extra's been behind consistently, uh, but not out the whole game. That's. Oh. Man. Extra needs to close out that asteroid. Yeah, if I'm Exer, yeah, that's I'm a... coming for it though. And if Exer's not on that quickly, then Let's see where's the other one? Uh, Sandia's gonna get it. The other one's being mined by Sandia in it's the back. Sandia's got this one. If they can lock this one down. Oh, oh does Exer see the other one? Oh, oh no, Sandia's oh, got no. it. Sandia's got both. But he's at back. Oh he's... shoot! I don't know if it's gonna matter. The eggs are really on the back foot now that Sanya got both those asteroids. Oh, let's see. And Sanya push the advantage. You've got to push the advantage. Do you think going for the sun is smart here? I don't think I would. I wouldn't if I'm not if I'm Sanya. It's too dangerous with extra in this position. Extra doesn't have that many. Yeah. Extra doesn't have that many ships convert to. I think I'm just gonna whittle Exter down because one mess up, Exter comes back in. He's too good of a player. You just gotta slowly cut power and yeah. push in. Exter holding these bases. Like this is good, Asanya. He's just gotta push in, keep pushing. Extra losing ships though, because starting to lose more and more ships. There you go, Sanya's. Sanya's just gotta keep now. When Exter's going around, Sanya comes in. Stand you pushing into Exter's home territory. Go take him. Asteroids out. Sandy has snipers now. Take those center, the center ring. Grab the asteroids and secure yourself. Grab the asteroids now. Push that with the rest of the center out. And I think you are looking pretty good. There's one just chilling in the background yeah, doing yeah. nothing. Get that ship. Oh, the sun. Going for the sun. Smart play, I think. Not much extra can do here. Can't contest the sun. And once Red gets that sun buff, it'll be unbeatable. This is good. Just be very careful. I'd almost give up the I'd give up the asteroids in, in favor of the sun. Hold that sun. Yeah, I mean, once the sun buff comes in, yo, Sidia. All right, push it. Let's see. Go. Let's see. Uh, oh Sandy's man, got a, he got the he got both asteroids Sandy's as well. Coming in. Both asteroids, the sun buff. Go, <laughs> go for the home. Take your ships, make the round. Here comes Sandia. Oh my gosh. Are we going to have a non-Dragon, non-Exter finals? You know how long it's been since, we have a, since we've had a finals without those two in it? That is absolutely insane. And it also means this yeah. is going to come down to a Crux Vela battle. Yeah, oh the my double god. Upset, the double upset making the Crux and Vela battle in the finals is crazy. This is and insane. Then we the most stacked bronze match of all time as well. <laughs> yeah. We couldn't have, I mean, we couldn't have scripted this. This is wild. Absolutely wild. Yeah. Sanya, I'm so happy to finally heat that drag. You're getting Exter off your back to, to overcome them bracket and close out a game in this time with the galactic war going on is just clutch. Hopefully. All right. We've got a volatility mirror match extra on the blue team. Dragon V-Cats on the red team. Let's see how these players roll out.
looks one, like extra two, going two. for this point defense first. I'd almost argue that going for the five first is kind of smart because you can take it so quickly and it will just start producing without rig and just give you know. Yeah, I, it, it, you can take that without losing a single ship. So I don't understand why yeah. players don't take it. But yeah, if if not first, like it should be a good like close second. Like it, it's just like you can take it so quickly, and it's not like you're gonna be at ship cap. So you know, it's just basically free ships. Yeah, we'll see if extra skips it coming out of the system. I know Dragon took it last time, and I so we'll sh we shall see. Yeah, and we're really just at the calm before the storm here. Both players micromanage, expand their initial territory. Oh, thank God they're going for the five. I was scared there. Yeah, both players got gonna... it. Smart. Yes. Incredibly smart. Looks like Dragon off to a slight lead here uh, in both territory and ships here. Eggs are just with a little bit of a slower start, but is, uh, you know, still early game, still anyone's game here. Dragon, though, pulling the classic, I'm going to quickly expand and get the snipers, and there's nothing you can do about it strategy. Uh, we'll see how Eggster is able to combat this. Hearing all those heavy lasers in Dragon's army. Not what you want to hear if you're not on the red team right now. And I know Exter, you know, Exter's uh, uh, apparently Dragon plays weird, according to Exter. <laughs> so, and weird is scary. Yeah, <laughs> and these two have played each other enough times. They know each 100%. other's little quirks and flaws. Yeah, but and... extra, extra doing a great job of evening up the match here. Uh, crawling back from an initial um, deficit, though, uh, Dragon still has a slight ship lead and more territory. And as I say that, uh, Dragon's being pretty relentless in the expansion of the red territory here. If I'm looking at the mini map, I see basically all the bases in the center ring are controlled by red here. Um, you know, extra needs to just push it to here. Can't let, and right now, you know, the significance of this is that uh, Dragon is building up an army of snipers in the background that extra can't really touch right now. And those snipers, so I think the snipers are really good at like slowly just like reinforcing a lead because they'll just harass the and make the losing player lose ships like constantly. Um, I mean, snipers are good regardless if you're losing or winning, but uh, they just know it's a scary scary kind of ship for sure that has an effect in the long run usually not very doesn't make it for explosive plays but just slowly whittles down the enemy though as i say that extra doing a great job coming back is actually now leading in ships yeah so vela vela is winning this match slightly as extra pulls into the lead here but Crux can still take it. Dragon taking those moons relentlessly. I mean, he is the moon gobbler. Though apparently just rocking the beta tester title right now. Asteroids are up. Yep. I'm guessing it's a one and one kind of situation here. Dragon could push back. If they take that planet over there, they may be able to keep both. They can cut, mm. yeah, cut there and then cut. I mean, Dragon has more one. territory right now. Yeah, like but those two I, I think are key. If Dragon can extra cut just those. has enough ships to be able to. Yeah, extra just needs to get. I mean, yeah, it only matters who's on the asteroid when it completes its mining. So, you know, there's no real rush other than that you don't want the enemy to just get it. So, it looks like extra going to be holding it down here. Dragon knows that they can't contest that, so I think they're going to just try to make sure that they get theirs. You know, they wouldn't want to lose both the asteroids here by playing over aggressive. Oh! No, oh, I'm coming in for the last second extra, please! No! Dragon gets making a comeback! Sneaky. And 
Crux pulling in the lead here. Both nuke abilities are ready. Just make sure you don't convert the wrong ships. Yeah. You don't want some battleships to turn <laughs> into nukes or something. I remember when the god abilities were first added, um, there was no max amount of ships that could be converted. For uh, <laughs> yeah. right now it's seven, but you could convert like your entire army of like fifty or hundred ships into nukes, and it was pretty amusing. Yeah, if not a little OP. They were yeah, volatility was super OP at that time. What a great exchange though, Eggster keeping up, keeping in the battle. Yep, yep. I'm impressed. Alone shield ship there. Battling for, you know, they're pretty dead even. Dragon, despite getting those two asteroids, I think the two asteroids are really just enough for them to, like, you know, even it out again. Though maybe the quality and power of their fleet um, is still is still stronger than, than the blue army here. We have another round of asteroids out. Extra started mining this one, but Dragon has left his. Yeah, Dragon leading in territory, extra leading in ships here. But, man, not Dragon good, no. has so much territory and power here. This is not good if he... Extra, like, if he gets both the asteroids again, that'll put a, a Dragon in a really great position here. Dragon like, Extra needs to, needs to take planet. these planets quickly because if Extra doesn't take that planet, Dragon's it's not going to have power both. the asteroid. Yep. And, if Dragon so can just key. keep cutting off the power here and keep... Oh, Hector's not going to get the Asteroid. Come on. But it's not going to have power. It needs to go back. It's, it's... like disrupting the mining, though. This d stalls it decently. Actually, he's going to be able to get it. Oh, there that we was go. so close. But, oh, no. They're oh, going to get spawn camp. The hostile planet here. Okay. Oh, no. Hector oh, might have grabbed retreating. him. I can tell. That was so I think, quick. I think he did, or at least most of them. Man, extra slightly in the lead, e even territory. Well, as I say that, Dragon pushes into more. Man, fleet's getting smaller as they fight here, <laughs> but still even. This is going to come down to one mess up. Somebody's going to cut power and that's going to be the end. This is, they're so evenly matched. Yeah. Asteroids out again, though. It could be another situation uh, where Eggster really just has to fight for his life to get that one asteroid there. Oh, no power. Needs to wait for those power drones to arrive to unlock that asteroid here. Dragon can't be allowed to take that asteroid. This timing may not be good. No. Nope. And Dragon gets both the asteroids. Oh no. Crux getting those powerful asteroid ships. Oh no. Man, a bell on the back foot here. Using those nukes, fire the nukes in red. Oh no! Red popping the nukes. Eggs are down to just a few ships. You don't need. Uh, I think he just closed this out. Oh. <laughs> nukes chasing extra into the <laughs> void. Extra running away. <laughs> Extra, I think, knowing that it's GG here. Got to the... Running from the nukes! <laughs> Dragon unnecessarily taking the sun. Just probably close this out. Yeah, glory to Crux here. As Dragon, after a long, intense game, pulls ahead.
God, every one of these matches, every one of these round four and semifinals could be an epic match. They've just been, all of them have been <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Extra down to a whopping zero ships here. Not going to have a chance to come back here. But great game for both players. Um, yeah, and... another classic match between yeah. these two. Oh, yeah. That was a great match to watch. And uh, Dragon Cats will get third place in the tournament, representing Crux. And Extra representing Vela will get fourth place. Yeah, I don't know if the stakes have ever been higher. This could sway the war. Yeah. Uh, Vela really needs this. Godmon, the dynasty rides on your back here. Okay. Godmon has not lost a shield ship off bat. This is great. Getting that, getting heavy laser fast. The ADX mating two. Looks like another God of Volatility mirror match. I would get the five before the torpedo, man. I like. I feel like it's not like the torpedo is like you're gonna lose a lot of ships getting it. Like you just need like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, they're killing me. They have to a little bit of a slower so start. Easy. Let's see. Yep, see Maybe the torpedo so struggle. Faster, faster shot than Godmon here. <gasps> take the five, Godmon, please. Take it. <laughs> for Bella, for Bella. What are they? Oh, what are they doing? Oh, they're out of their shield again. Oh my God, Godmon's RNG no, is terrible. Terrible. <laughs> He's crying to the heavens. No. Glory <laughs> to Bella, please. Go take the five spot. You can do something. Okay, there's there a you shield. Go. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, Godmon. No, okay. Do Crux. not take Godmon to Vegas. Oh, no. Oh, don't do it, Sanya. Do not lose that five spot. Take the five spot. These guys are killing me. The stakes have never been higher. You get the five spot. <laughs> Both of them are going to leave it. <laughs> Man. Okay. Finally taking the advice. Oh no, Sand is gonna ignore it though. Okay. No real conflicts yet. Everybody kind of pushing in their own side. Yeah, dead even, dead even here. Has Godmon taken the five planet? Godmon did, but Sandia left it. Okay. Okay. What are this trend we've seen is whoever doesn't take the five planet wins by upset. So this is not looking good for Godmon here. Except. Uh, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That is true. You're right so far. Jeez. Oh, man. Okay. Godmon can't throw this early lead. Or not, not that Godmon has a lead, but just can't afford to like lose a battle here. Oh, Sadia's so good in the early early game, oh though, gosh, yeah. in the mid-game. Both oh, of these me. players have been really dying for this. Like, for both of them to make it to the finals <laughs> and get a <laughs> chance, this is huge for both of them. Sadia got nuked. Like, they're both probably, like, shaking with, with excitement and anticipation. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, I think Godmod slightly pulls ahead. Oh! Big fight always scares me when the the fleets come together early on. <laughs> always scares me. Sanya pushing it. To, oh, Godmon on Sanya's tail there. Oh. 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 Sandy oh, Sandy chips. Some chips to the void. Godman really on top of their game, aside from like notoriously losing shield chips early game, you know, but <laughs> everything's good. Everything's a meme. good. Yeah. Hey, Godman collecting those chips from home. That's good. That's nice good. And slow. Yeah. Pushing out. Oh. Godmon suffering some losses there. I oh, think it was a big, nuke just a big loss oh. there. 
Oh. Oh. Ooh, Sammy has to be careful. Godmon's about to get more nukes too. That was not a good we'll exchange. The first oh man. Oh, Asteroids wait. out. Oh. Sandy sneaking in. Oh, oh no! Oh, Sandy coming in and just destroying that fleet. If Sandy, the... can, if Sandy can leverage that big win into a double asteroids, that would be huge, huge and maybe even be the end of the game. Man, Godman right. needs that asteroid. Right, Godman, got please. One so far. Don't fight for that asteroid, Godman, please. Okay, maybe just oh, keep him standing Sandy distracted. I don't know. Oh, oh Sandy's going for the other asteroid. Wait, Godmon losing ships? More ships? No! Oh, if I'm... No! If I'm saying, yeah, I'm gonna latch on that asteroid. Wait, no, Godmon has the other one. Sandy oh. doesn't see it. No, no, Sandy sees it. Godmon! I don't think they can get her in time. Oh, they can it No, it's back to Godmon. No! Godmon, it's gonna take this one. Oh, wait! No! Oh, no! Save you get the other asteroid. Gonna leverage that to get the other one. Sandy Sandy's coming in with all these battleships. Oh, God, no. has to run. Sandy no. got that other one. This is it. This is a crazy upset here. Oh my gosh, Sandy has to play it cool. No, Very the smooth. double asteroid. The crux getting the double asteroid. No. Oh my god. Sandy has a massive lead here. Sandy needs to just make no, the rounds. Be very careful. To like two ships. Oh, the last guess... two ships in the Vela fleet. No. This is smart. Crux Nathan is cheering at home. <laughs> Nathan cheering on for Crux at home. I'm sure he's excited. This is going to be good. Oh. Sandy oh, smart. No. Take the sun. Sandy makes nukes. Got a bunch of nukes and all this massive fleet camping the sun here. Don't even worry. I wouldn't even leave. Just hold the sun. Oh. Oh no. No. This is it. This is it. <laughs> The sun buff hits, the crux powered up by the sun buff plow to the Vela home base here. And unfortunately for Vela, crux manages to not lose all their ships in the solar flare. <laughs> and it'll look like Sandia will run away. This is, this is amazing. I'm so happy for both of these two players to come in first and second to mix it up. To, to fought and practice and work so hard to overcome Dragon and Exter. It's just an amazing, amazing battle for both of them. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. What can oh. go on? No power! No, that could have been bad. Well, this power is about to be. <laughs> oh, I mean, having the worm will not really realize it. Got him on not giving up. There you go. <laughs> Take that. There you go. And it looks like Godmon will be defeated. The Crux Republic will win the first official tournament. Vela must make their revenge and they will have plenty of opportunities to do so so don't worry Vela there's still plenty of opportunity to make an epic comeback here and Just amazing Crux will win the first official tournament congratulations Sandia great performance from both players both give yourselves a pat on the back for upsetting our top EU players in the semifinals and um we will announce how big the mega faction bonus is later today um, because it is in the order of thousands of points for the winning team. And uh, though everyone will make personal contributions based on where they placed in the top eight, uh, but those won't be on the same, nearly the same magnitude as the massive uh, bonus that goes towards the winning team.
Awesome. Man. Well, just amazing. Just, yes, and just to reiterate, where there's going to be exciting news related to the Galactic War all this week, leading up to an update on Thursday, which will add more Galactic War content and maybe an opportunity for the Vela Dynasty to take their revenge. Alrighty. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. This was uh, an awesome tournament. And we will see you all next time. Thanks for watching, everyone.